One of the big challenges for mortgage lenders today is transitioning from a more traditional branch style operation uh, that most of us are familiar with, uh, old school mortgage lending, uh, where we have geographically uh, distributed branches and we're focused on our community and being the lenders in those communities to a more consumer direct lending model. One, where primarily uh, our customer base is originated through the internet channel, uh, through our website, uh, through possibly lead buying and lead acquisition. Um, and again, going consumer direct uh, in a nationwide way. Now this is a model that has been uh, perfected for several decades, um, but generally has been adopted by much larger lenders. So lenders like Quicken Loans and Loan Depot, uh, Guaranteed Rate, and some of those type uh, of larger lenders uh, have been operating in this consumer direct model. But now, uh, post COVID-19, as we kind of emerge out of this pandemic, we've been through these lockdowns, um, a lot of lenders are having to catch up and figure out how to go consumer direct, how to perfect their websites to actually be able to execute this type of model well um, and still retain their differentiation uh, from some of these other uh, big boys playing in the space. And so fortunately, Kaleidico, this is our bread and butter. We've been in this space um, since the beginning. Uh, Kaleidico itself was founded in 2005, and so we were sort of pre-mortgage meltdown, uh, heavily involved in building consumer direct platforms. And even before I founded Kaleidico, um, I was a part of a team that built and ultimately sold uh, one of the first internet banks between 2000 and 2004. So we're really familiar with this space. And again, like I said, we perfected this model and we've actually perfected a way, which is what I'm gonna kind of walk you through today, uh, to, to use our team, use our expertise, use the model and the patterns uh, that are successful to quickly transition your operation to this consumer direct and be able to, to, to compete uh, against some of the largest in the space. So let me take you through that um, in just a few minutes. So consumer direct lending, um, the things that we're gonna focus on today um, are really, again, give you a little background regarding Kaleidico itself, uh, where we get our experience from, how the team's constructed. We're going to talk about lead generation programs because when we step into one of these engagements, uh, we don't fo focus on individual tactics. We're actually focused on a holistic lead generation program. And there's a lot of reasons for that. And it's very important to kind of execute like that, particularly if you're going to go up against the, comp the competition that's already in this space. Um, like I said, we're going to talk about the team. Then we're going to go you through some very specific case studies where we've already been successful in implementing this model and transitioning some of these more traditional lenders. Um, we've got a client reference section, which you can download uh, here on the website uh, and you know, reach out to those folks and talk about that experience um, and how we've been able to, to create some success for them. Uh, and then ultimately, um, a lot of people hide the pricing. Uh, we want to talk about the investment because it's actually a, a very uh, reasonable investment and the, the ROI uh, is sort of baked into the system. So we'll talk about that a little bit towards the end. Um, so like I mentioned, Kaleidico has been in this space uh, for 15 years. This is the space that we've been in since the beginning of Kaleidico. My background is in mortgage lending, uh, specifically building consumer direct uh, lending platforms started, uh, like I said, with one of the uh, earliest internet banks. We were doing home equity originations at that point, um, transitioned and did some uh, similar work with Quicken Loans and then ultimately uh, created Kaleidico. Uh, actually, initially uh, as a CRM or lead management uh, software, uh, at the time, you know, internet leads were just becoming a thing. And so one of the biggest problems was taking all of these internet leads into very large call centers, which was our client base. Um, people like New Century, IndyMac Bank, American Home Mortgage, um, these large call center based lenders, again, some of the first consumer direct were buying internet leads instead of originating their own. Um, and when they took them into the call centers, uh, they had this problem of how to efficiently distribute that um, to those thousands of loan officers. Um, and so we perfected sort of a model to do that, a, a lead management system, a CRM. Um, or unfortunately, uh, that style of lending um, during the mortgage meltdown were the first to sort of be devastated. So um, almost all of our client uh, base uh, fell off against bankruptcy. Um, and unfortunately, uh, we lost Leeds 361, uh, that battle. We were kind of the only two in the space. They're now Velocify. 
Um, and so the rest of that story is told. But um, in 2007, 2008, uh, we transitioned to becoming a lead generation agency because we had, we had seen what those leads were, we knew how to generate them. And instead of sort of becoming a lead generator, we decided to focus our attention on individual lenders um, and some of the other verticals that we do, uh, law and insurance and those sorts of things, but financial services, focus on teaching these brands, uh, like yourself watching this, uh, how to generate their own leads uh, in a consumer direct model. So that's kind of our, our basic heritage and background uh, and what specifically gives us expertise uh, in this really sort of nuanced space. Um, spoke about that, we were again founded in 2005. So we've, we've been in the space, we've been through the dip, uh, we've been through the acceleration out of here. Um, and so we've been through multiple cycles. And so we can equip your organization, your mortgage lending operation to go through those different cycles. Uh, because what you focus on in the prioritization will certainly change as the cycles go from super low interest rates rising rate environment, uh, again, all the different transitions between uh, the refi boom that we're in right now uh, and then emerging back out into purchase. And so um, all those kind of cycles we're familiar with. The lead generation program itself, um, ultimately we're always starting with the lead. That's what fuels growth and we understand what a mortgage lead is. Uh, so many other agencies uh, that are just kind of generalize digital marketing agencies. A lot of times they start with the tactics um, and they're really focused on traffic itself. Uh, but ultimately we have expertise and we focus on the lead that we're delivering to the loan officer. And then we back into our process and tactics to get exactly the type of leads that you're looking for. So if you're primarily focused on FHA or VA, or you have some particular uh, specialty, like maybe do physician's loans or something like that, we will take that ideal lead and we will back into and create a program that will generate exactly the type of leads that you wanna work on, exactly the type of loan programs that you're best equipped um, to deliver to those customers. Our process is one of sort of a, a continual iteration. And so you kind of see this OODA loop um, sort of configuration as figure eight, uh, because oftentimes we're starting uh, with some form of discovery, uh, which again, may be something that we do again in a month or two months or three months, but we're going through a discovery process. We're trying to understand exactly where your business needs to focus. Um, as the market transitions, we'll go back into that discovery phase with you and understand exactly where you want to be in the market, how you want to differentiate yourself, and potentially the types of programs uh, that you want to attack or you want to focus on, again, so that we can back into what that lead looks like and then build out the program to get that type of lead. Of course, we'll analyze our results. Uh, we'll continue to, to iterate through there. We'll create uh, new creative, new campaigns. We'll go back through that analysis process, always in a collaborative way. Uh, and then we'll sort of share and monitor the results. And then we'll just cycle back through that. And so this is an ongoing collaborative process. Uh, and this is why we can use the same process, the same pattern, but we can do it in a unique way for your particular lender so that you come up with your own unique results and outcomes. And this is why I say outcomes, because it's easy to kind of generate leads, but ultimately we want to generate the outcomes that you're looking for. So that means that we're going to need to know and we're going to work on generating that leads that fit into your particular model. So in some cases, you still got branch operations. You want to generate leads specific to each and every branch. We can accommodate that. Uh, other times you want to actually move all the leads into a call center. Um, maybe you're uh, warming those up with a frontline type team and then transferring them to licensed loan officers. So we'll develop a slightly different uh, type of lead process. So again, we want to make those outcomes adapted to your particular operation um, so that you get the best outcomes, the best results from those leads. Um, there is, as I said, a, a composite strategy here. We're going to work with um, multiple different types of digital marketing tactics. Um, generally, though, we focus on some specific channels uh, that we will build out for you and give you the capability um, to generate a nice, diverse, consistent flow of leads. Uh, SEO strategy and um, execution, of course, we're looking into the actual search marketplace itself. 
um, primarily Google, seeing where the keywords are, where people are searching, uh, and then doing, again, this is where experience plays into. We can look at those keywords that are available. We can see who's competing there. We can figure out where you can niche into that market uh, in an affordable way uh, and get the type of leads and the, and the search results um, and get those searchers uh, into your lead flow, into your website and convert it. Content marketing is a big part of that. Um, obviously, nothing gets into the search engine results unless there's a piece of content behind it. So we have a fully vetted out content marketing program uh, where we have a, a content studio, uh, a set of writers and editors uh, and creatives who are familiar with the mortgage market. So you don't have to teach us the mortgage market. You don't have to teach us uh, about rates, about loan programs and all those sorts of things. Um, we will actually come with a content program to you. We'll suggest certain topics that we, again, think will get us into the right positions uh, in the search engine. Uh, and as a result of that, you're just simply approving and monitoring and sort of supervising that process. You don't have to teach us anything. You don't have to spend a ton of time reviewing articles and making sure that we're saying the right things. Uh, a big piece of this uh, again, is just the experience of being in this market. We also tend to fly through compliance uh, with little or no problem. So we're aware of what compliance is and we're, we're used to working with compliance and legal. And so as we're putting content through the process, again, it doesn't create you know, blockage and a lot of extra overhead for you. When you take um, our content into compliance, uh, you can feel confident that it's going to go through there. And sometimes, most times actually, uh, we will actually work directly with your compliance department. So we're having that interchange. And again, you don't have to, to get into that process. And you know, you're, you're involved in and you should probably be focused uh, on production uh, and let us drive the leads in and the marketing process. And again, we can support those. Uh, we're familiar with talking to those other components, important, essential components of your organization uh, to get these programs and campaigns uh, in place running in a compliant way. PPC, uh, again, primarily Google Ads, but uh, everyone who's ever been in this space knows that the, the big players in the space um, are making the marketplace generally expensive. Uh, but our expert PPC management team uh, knows how to niche into um, some nice pockets of traffic that are affordable. And we can generally generate a lead for you exclusively to your brand um, at a very competitive rate to what you would buy leads at. So we're, you might buy a lead from uh, Zillow or Bankrate um, or LendingTree for anywhere from $25 to $50 a lead and those are shared leads, we can generally generate uh, a consistent, um, sufficient volume of leads for about the same cost per acquisition or cost per lead. So very competitive there. And again, this has everything to do with the fact that we've, we've built a framework, we've built a set of patterns that we can implement over and over again. Um, but we look at you uniquely as a lender, and that's what usually lets us niche into some of those spaces um, where uh, the bigger players in this space are just not there or they're not bidding up the marketplace out, out of a range so we can get that cost per acquisition, that cost per lead uh, into a very compelling uh, position. Email and lead nurturing. Um, anyone who's been in the lead business for any amount of time knows that one of the biggest sources of opportunity, low-hanging fruit, uh, and the best way to drive down your overall um, return on ad investment or return on ad spend is to use email marketing. So once those leads come in, uh, where you can build the programs to not only help your loan officers with that short-term outreach, because uh, to some degree, when you have leads coming in from the internet, you're going to have to do a little bit of a chase on them. Um, and when you're doing that, we can build those programs to use email, text messaging, depending on compliance in your particular organization. Sometimes we're even using voicemail drops uh, to make that initial contact, uh, that initial schedule appointment easier and more efficient to get. And then long term, uh, we never let those leads just die on the vine. So in our mindset, um, once that lead comes into our sales funnel, it's just a, a period of, of time before they're actually going to make that decision. And a lot of times, uh, particularly on a purchase lead, that could be up to six months before someone is really in a position or is a mindset to actually make that decision. Refi obviously is, is generally quicker, um, but oftentimes, again, 
Um, the bigger players, one of their secrets is they keep that email uh, messaging going. They keep that top of mind. Um, and again, using text message, email, sometimes voicemail drops, um, they can continue to nurture that lead uh, for a much longer time. And potentially, you know, you're actually even doing multiple transactions uh, because you have that program in place. And so, again, that's a component of our overall lead uh, generation program uh, and an important way to really drive that ROI down because we never let those leads die on the vine. We're going to continue to use uh, marketing and sales automation so your loan officer can work on the deals that are going to app and we can continue to work on uh, getting more and more sales qualified lead building that database bigger and bigger uh, and giving you more and more opportunities at a lower and lower cost so generally uh, that lead gen workflow kind of moves through these phases we're talking about strategy um, we typically are creating a quarterly plan uh, a lot of agencies will kind of keep you on this monthly treadmill uh, we actually like to look at these uh, bigger periods of time, create a more strategic approach to that, and then start to do the execution uh, on a more kind of monthly or sprint basis. So once we have that quarterly plan in, in place, we know what we're focused on, we know what our, our big boulders and big rocks that we're trying to crush, um, and then we start to take these individual tactics and apply them against those larger um, objectives. So then we put in and layer in our SEO, our analysis, our keyword research, our analysis of where we are, where we want to be, um, the keywords that we're acquiring, the traffic that we're getting off of that. We're applying content to continue to take more and more real estate in the search marketplace, adding PPC in there uh, so that we can actually buy into the market and get you some quicker results as the SEO and the organic sort of content play is starting to do its thing. Um, and then ultimately, we're looking at all of that and how it's performing along with the email marketing uh, and generating, of course, reporting, but also collaborating back with you um, to, to talk about where things are, how the leads are coming in, um, even interacting with your sales team to get a good sense of the quality of the leads and continually giving us feedback that will help us to improve that lead program. This is kind of what that rhythm looks like uh, in a picture. Uh, again, we're starting with those, those quarterly goals and business objectives. We're breaking it down into a, a documented plan so we can measure our results. We can look at those key performance indicators. We go into a phase of execution. Um, while we're executing, we're checking in every two weeks, uh, just like uh, you probably would with an internal team. We're checking in uh, with where we are on the plan, what we're specifically executing. A lot of times uh, we're in collaboration or getting approvals uh, through you or compliance. Um, and then once a month, uh, we're looking at the results. We're analyzing, collaborating on that reporting and seeing where we can continue to iterate and, and make uh, improvements in performance. Uh, and then, of course, we're moving through that all the way through the quarter. Uh, again, that sort of figure eight that we're going through, we're continuing to go through that cycle and process so that we're constantly refining and improving performance as we move through it. So the team that you'll be working with um, could be uh, a combination uh, of the folks here. Um, of course, I'm always engaged with all of our clients. Um, primarily, uh, I focus on the strategy, so I'll be heavily involved in those quarterly planning sessions. Uh, I will be always looking uh, alongside of my team to kind of understand um, how the engagement's going, how our lead program is developing, and then of course, um, bringing my expertise into having seen a lot of these to see how we're comparing, uh, how we're doing, and then uh, working with the team to continue to evolve that strategy. You can see, um, worked with a lot of the big players here, um, so I bring all of that to you uh, and your uh, particular lending operation. Uh, you'll be working with one of these two account managers that are focused and experienced on mortgage as well, uh, either Samantha or Mika. Uh, and again, their primary role is to execute this lead management program, this pattern of success that we've done. Um, their role is to apply that inside of your organization um, to help with the strategy, um, to keep their eyes on the reporting and analysis, and then to reach back into our team of experts um, and bring in those um, expert skills. So our writers, our, our content studio, our content strategists, our PPC managers, our design and development team, again, they can bring all the resources of Kaleidico into a holistic plan for you. Um, these are the project leads. 
And again, depending on what we're doing and what exactly the focus of any particular cycle on, um, you'll be working with um, some or even all of these in your engagement. Uh, Nate's our creative director. He does all of our design. He's a big part of, of building out uh, the design patterns that we've used to convert uh, so effectively. And so if you're doing a re website redesign or we're uh, doing specific landing page, maybe for particular campaigns, you know, you're definitely going to interact and work with Nate uh, and some of his team of designers. Angelo leads all of our development efforts. Uh, we primarily develop on WordPress if we're doing a website redesign. He's the one that's going to be uh, leading the development team that's going to implement uh, that process and that platform. Again, there, there's a lot of that platform already kind of conceived because, uh, again, we've, we've got a pattern that works uh, and a framework uh, that definitely executes. And so um, Angelo is going to be the one that guides that development process and builds out custom features, everything from uh, dynamic rates to um, mortgage calculators uh, to interactive features um, that we have brought uh, home valuations and, and a lot of different kind of interesting uh, client uh, and customer engagement on the website. So Angelo would be leading that. Kelly's our business development and client success. As we, um, if you were to, to engage with us for a discovery call, uh, Kelly's going to be working alongside of me to really kind of understand the, the needs of your business. And then as we go into an engagement, um, she will be a transition piece along with that account manager to make sure that uh, you get onboarded with us, you start to engage with us, and then she'll periodically be checking on your success to make sure that you're getting what you expect from us uh, and the results uh, that we um, uh, you know, always try to get our clients to achieve. So she's always checking on the account and making sure, again, you're getting the results uh, that you need and expect. Uh, Asia is a big piece of the content uh, strategy and also the production. Content's a big piece of making consumer direct work. Um, we're trying to provide the answers and, and the research destinations that a lot uh, of borrowers are looking for, whether they're refinancing, trying to figure out how to use uh, their, their VA loan, their certificate, um, maybe they're a first time home buyer and trying to just figure out what is this FHA that everybody keeps talking about. Uh, maybe they're a, a new doctor just coming out of residency and trying to figure out how to get a physician's loan and who offers those programs. Again, Asia uh, with her strategy team and SEO uh, resources, she's going to be putting together that content program so that we can attract those kind of audiences. Here's just a few of our recent uh, mortgage lender case studies, uh, just at a really high level. Again, most of these are actually scenarios we, where we are uh, transitioning a traditional branch model into this consumer direct, and we've had a lot of, of success over the years, uh, and these are just the most recent of those. Um, Homefinity, um, one of the fairway companies, uh, again, branch operation, wanted to move in consumer direct, uh, very, very quickly um, gave them a presence that started to generate um, their own sources of lead volume outside uh, of where they were already being effective in buying leads. So they had a great sales team, a uh, great source of inbound leads, and they were looking to now create some of their own capabilities within the organization and have a consumer direct channel uh, that would allow them to augment and grow uh, beyond just lead buying. Um, and you can see uh, the web uh, redesign was a big component of this. And you can see just with that launch alone and that, again, that proven lead generation uh, design and patterns that we use. Uh, again, everything's uh, unique and custom as far as matching to brand and user experience and that sort of thing. But there are some components that, that we just know work. So as soon as we do that redesign, as soon as we launch that website, we're going to get an immediate impact. And you can kind of see on this graph um, that that was real and an instance. Uh, River City Mortgage is another one of these. Again, multiple branches. Uh, throughout the nation, nationwide uh, lender uh, in some strategic cities. And again, we did a re redesign for them uh, that was super effective. Um, and in addition, gave them um, some very branch specific uh, community focused still um, consumer direct um, entry points. So not only were they able to go consumer direct across the nation and all the places that they're licensed, but where they did have branches, um, we were able to design experiences and lead generation programs that continue um, to make them feel like 
uh, and be able to, to directly impact uh, the local communities that those branches uh, care about and have, have kind of built their business on. So even though we're going consumer direct, we were able to still retain some of that hometown lender uh, feel uh, within that consumer direct model. Marquee Funding Group, uh, this one's a little bit unique in that um, it is a hard money lender. And so we're able to do similar things with private money lenders as well. Um, and so we took this um, private money, hard money lending, uh, traditionally is a very sales focused and again, sort of belly to belly across the table, relationship a relationship based lending, um, but we were able to go consumer direct. Um, and so we were able to get them owner occupied um, deals and opportunities, uh, along with continuing to, to grow out uh, their business purpose lending, um, as well as give them opportunities to actually uh, attract new investors as well. So through that full cycle of hard money and private money lending, that whole ecosystem that exists within these type of lenders, um, we were able to give uh, a web option uh, and online lead generation for all three components of that um, pretty interesting ecosystem that uh, is unique to hard money or private lending. Um, we've been trusted and, and been a part of uh, some of the largest uh, lending names um, everywhere from starting brand new lending ventures um, and spinoffs and components of larger lenders um, to you know, completely new ventures. Uh, some of these on this list, actually Quizzle specifically was uh, one of our clients that was acquired by Bankrate, a Spring AQ, spun out a new pen, Financial, um, Homefinity, of course, a component of Fairway. So there's a lot of these that are components. Uh, Aquin, uh, we were part of a period where they were acquiring uh, some other lenders. So we are really familiar um, with the lending space, the dynamic um, uh, situation that it is. And, and moving lenders through a lot of different types of transitions, anything from acquisition to being acquired to starting up uh, to moving through different uh, market cycles and those sorts of things. So we're really comfortable in this space, particularly when you're trying to make a, t a transition or you're trying to, to move in an innovative way. Uh, some other recent case studies just to kind of give you the depth of the agency itself and where we can pull even more innovative ideas even outside of the lending space. Uh, Detroit College Match, uh, we're based um, outside of Detroit. Um, so this was a, a unique, uh, we built a, a completely custom um, platform uh, that allowed um, students to come in uh, to this platform. We're using a combination uh, of data from a variety of different um, education sources and we're able to take that student's information, match them up with the colleges that they're most likely to be the most successful with. Again, nice custom platform uh, using a combination of, of APIs that are available out there and data that we're able to acquire um, and then do some very interesting and dynamic matching uh, of that information together. So really showcases not only our design uh, abilities, but our ability to, to create custom user experiences uh, and really sophisticated uh, development projects. Citizens Research Council of Michigan, um, this is a, a, a research and think tank. Uh, one of the interesting parts of this is there was just, this is a hundred year old organization and they've got research and documentation and content um, that is a uh, hundred years old. And uh, one of the challenges of this was to give an interface uh, and create a website that allowed this to be a center of research for journalists, for policymakers, uh, and to be able to, for the first time, uh, access all of that hundred years worth of research. And so this was a very interesting uh, content heavy type of development project. DECA Health, um, this again, there's always sort of patterns in here, even though it's not all lending. Uh, so DECA Health, much like a, a branch based operation for lending, um, has a lot of different pain centers. Um, and we were able to develop uh, destinations and websites um, and create templates and models uh, to quickly roll out um, new centers across the nation. Um, and do that very efficiently uh, with our web design. Um, also some interesting uh, features. So as you're uh, on here as, as a user uh, uh, of this system, uh, you're having a specific type of pain. You can see in here, um, you can use a visual navigation to say, hey, this is where the pain is. And as a result, 
um, you can quickly sort of identify and understand um, some of the treatment possibilities or some of the uh, ways that this, this particular um, health system can help you. Uh, Pix Pixo Apex, uh, this is neat. This is one of our emerging tech clients. Uh, a lot of times we're doing uh, SaaS or emerging tech startups as well. Um, this is a player in the VR training space and VR content management space. So kind of think of uh, these folks as the Netflix for VR. Um, and so this was a, a, a neat uh, website and ongoing uh, lead generation project uh, to allow us to, to help them generate leads uh, for this innovative and, and kind of first-in-class technology. Uh, Census, this is an internet security uh, startup and, and again, uh, innovative uh, emerging technology uh, in a space uh, of attack surface management that is kind of emerging and new. Uh, and so this creates an interesting sort of problem set for us is to build a website and to generate leads. Uh, for a clientele uh, that may not even be aware of the solution set uh, to uh, a problem that they're maybe solving with some different tools or, or some suboptimal tools. Uh, again, so this was a, a project that we continue to work with both on the website side as well as the lead generation front. Nutshell is a CRM provider. Uh, we love our CRM heritage. In this particular case, uh, we were focused on the blog component of their website and creating, uh, this is a big part of how they actually generate their business uh, for this SaaS platform. Uh, and so we helped them create a more engaging uh, blog experience so that they could really execute on the SEO and content front for their organization. Um, we've got also churches, and again, the models are similar. This is one of uh, a, a larger uh, church network, uh, sometimes called mega churches, and they actually have multiple campuses uh, distributed. So again, creating a, a web experience, a user experience um, that allows uh, people from a lot of different geographies um, to find their local campus. And then one of the interesting things, and again, one of the expertises of Kaleidico is this, um, this strategic uh, play that we can this help with in organizations or uh, businesses that are in a transition. So in the midst of COVID, uh, we had to change these kind of in-person church services to uh, dynamic, engaging online experiences. And so we were able to build out through the web um, a variety of different video-based, uh, live stream-based uh, experiences very quickly in a, in a matter of weeks. We were able to, during this whole crisis, convert them from an in-person church experience um, to a live stream uh, online virtual church experience and continue to, to help them innovate uh, in reaching their audiences in, in new and unique ways uh, that are driven uh, by things that have happened around this COVID-19 experience. Emic Plastic Surgery, um, this shows some of our, our white labeling uh, expertise. Uh, again, in this particular case, we were able to go into uh, a, a sort of a unique industry for us, um, but we were actually working with other agencies. So we're able to take some of those component experiences, in this case, SEO and content, uh, and give effective execution uh, even in a single lane. So this is just uh, an example of how we can be very effective in just using uh, one or more of our tactics. Client references, of course, this is available uh, for download so you can engage any of these individuals and ask them what it is to work with Kaleidico and their uh, successes and experiences. Talk just uh, to wrap everything up, just a little bit about investments. Um, we actually try to keep it very simple and consistent. Um, and transparent uh, about our pricing. If you were to engage us for a website redesign, um, those uh, generally start at 30,000, uh, depending on the, the type of complexity and the, the, the amount of custom development and that sort of thing, um, they can climb from there. Um, but this gets you a, a highly uh, robust uh, content field, um, already known to be successful. We, we know um, that what we're going to put in, in front is going to achieve the ROI that you're expecting. Um, and again, we could build those custom engaging UXs and experiences in here uh, for this price point. Uh, again, depending on what we're doing, uh, this, this may grow and be larger, uh, but generally 
this is where we start and this is what most of our websites um, actually the the investment is at that thirty thousand um, dollar level and within lending um, that's pretty affordable you know uh, anywhere from six to ten loans uh, get you an immediate uh, return on that investment and with a brand new website the way that we build them um, that's pretty much a, a return on investment that happens in the first month uh, lead generation programs so that ongoing engagement that we're doing month over month for you um, generally starts at a monthly investment of five thousand um, these are the components these are the tactics and techniques that we wrap together in that uh, lead generation program so we're doing SEO we're doing content we're doing Google Ads and we're using email marketing again just to, to bring in uh, an audience and leads from all places in the funnel and then to continue to nurture those grow that database um, and continue just a steady growing flow uh, of leads each and every month again for five thousand dollars if you compare that to lead buying um, that's uh, probably very uh, equivalent and, and over time that five thousand uh, dollars a month is going to get you far more than uh, each and every month buying brand new leads you're just going to have this this growing lead volume and the amount of leads that you're going to actually generate uh, with that investment of five thousand dollars a month will continue to grow uh, over time so that ROI like I talked about earlier, we'll just continue to drive down and you'll be getting more and more for that monthly investment. Uh, if you want a more robust program, you want some more of our skills and resources um, in uh, your marketing department, supporting your marketing department, maybe even touching into the sales, uh, we have a Lead Generation Plus program. This actually starts to get into ongoing uh, website optimization, landing page optimization, optimizations, uh, and, and refinement and iteration uh, on the website itself. Also uh, helping to optimize uh, the CRM it's, itself and how we're actually doing that outreach, uh, that email outreach, that text messaging, those sequences we're building out um, and helping to kind of just dip a little bit deeper uh, into your sales operation. And that's kind of what that enhancement does. It also starts to, to push out into social media channels and those sorts of things. So. Uh, for that $10,000 a month investment, again, you're only talking about a couple loans uh, each month and you get that immediate uh, return on investment. But the nice thing about this particular program is you can almost, uh, for a pretty large uh, mortgage lending operation, you can, in essence, outsource a good portion of your marketing uh, to us and it definitely uh, can have us support 100% of your digital marketing efforts um, and again uh, do more you guys can focus on the, the loan production itself uh, and we can drive in those leads and even help a little bit on the sales front to make that more efficient so um, we would encourage you to to reach out to myself or Kelly um, or even through the website itself, uh, go ahead and schedule a discovery session. Uh, even if you're just kind of curious about the consumer direct model or how we work with lead generation, how we um, do web, um, website design and development, um, schedule a discovery session. It's a, a 30 minute process. Uh, we're gonna ask a lot of questions uh, about you as a business. Um, we're going to immediately uh, start to, to get into strategy with you. Uh, we're going to, to give you some ideas on things that we think uh, would help your, your organization. We're going to talk more about the process. Uh, we will, and I guarantee you this, we will actually, within that 30 minutes, give you at least um, one good idea that even if you don't uh, engage with us for a redesign or you don't engage with us for a lead generation program, you're going to walk away with at least one uh, interesting, actionable uh, tactic that's going to generate more leads uh, in the coming months. So really encourage you to reach out. Like I said, we love uh, answering questions. We love talking about lead generation, especially in the context of mortgage lending. Um, and um, so ask us those questions, schedule that discovery session, uh, and we hope to talk to you real soon.